Hey everyone, Justin here with Day Trade Masters. Have another Training Tuesday video for you. Been getting a lot of questions on stop loss, uh, how to manage those, where to move them. So I wanted to go through a trade setup that we had and show you how I process that information and when's the best time to enter, safest place to enter. Uh, if you have access to DTM and you're a subscriber, you have access to the notes from our analysts, Corey and Nico, where they're putting in early entries. They're they're looking at indicators, finding those bottoms and giving us even better opportunity for profits. So without further ado, let's jump over to TradingView. So I've got AI Multiverse with USDT trading pair on KuCoin here. Now we trade on the four hour. This came out right on this line. So right where all of my TPs and entry and stop loss are in line, that's where this trade came out. So I just put in replay mode so we can see how this played out and what I was looking for. So we talk about waiting for support on entry before entering. And this is a good example why. So we are below entry right now. I wanna see this thing build support so I can find a good entry spot and then take off. And then from there, it's just managing my take profits and stop loss. So from here, we're going to wait and see how this plays out. So we've come down a little bit lower. So for our advanced traders and subscribers, this is where we start getting excited. This is where we want, we're looking to see where this price action is struggling to break through a certain price point. So if you've got indicators like our detonator here from the ultimate trading course, which is highly, highly recommended if you're planning on taking your trading to the next level, you get the indicators, you get foundational knowledge as well as advanced knowledge on exchanges, indicators, you name it. It, it builds you that foundation to give you that sustainability, that, that dependent, uh, independency where you can just take on your own trades. You've got all the tools you need. So we, we talk about the detonator. This is the detonator indicator from UTC. We talk about waiting for the bottom of these waves. So we've got this green dot here. That is what we love to see. Very good indicator that we have potentially bottomed. So looking here, this is probably where I would start looking to enter. But we're talking about waiting for support on this video. So let's see how this market plays out. So we have this nice big wick up to TP1, TP2, now almost TP2. A lot of people get nervous. They don't want to miss out. This is where the emotional bit of trading comes in. We do not want to jump into a trade if we've missed that opportunity. If we see a nice big move in price action, we need to wait for that to cool off. If we jump in here, it's likely that we might not see that profit. Maybe it's starting to turn around to the, to the downside, right? So we haven't seen entry support yet. So we're still waiting. So let's see what this market does. Look at that. So in these two candles, it came down right back to our entry zone and built support. And it did not want to break below. So this is where we're going to enter. Okay. So let's say that we entered right about here just to give ourselves some room. So now the next thing I want to look at is my stop loss, my risk to reward. So right now I'm risking, you know, 12% for 8% and 20%. So that's not bad. TP1, TP2, that's a decent one. I would probably take my stop loss and move it up a little bit just to reduce that risk. But I'm also looking at previous structure, right? So we built support here in this area. So I'm going to come below that a little bit to reduce my risk as well as give it some breathing room because we have built support in this area. So if it does break down a little bit lower, chances are it's coming down and I might get an opportunity to buy a little bit lower than that. Plus my risk to reward is looking much better. Six to seven for TB1. So beautiful. So let's see how this goes. Now we entered here. We would have taken take profit on TB1 already. We hit TB1. So for this trade, what I did was TP1, TP2, TP3. I put 25% on each of those. And then I like leaving 25% on my stop loss just in case this market takes off. And then I can just manage that stop loss on the way up. So I've got the convenience of knowing that I'm taking profits off the table as this market moves up. And I've got my capital protected by a stop loss that I can potentially move into profits, right? 
So as we move up, let's see how this goes. So came back down, building support again. So this would have gave us another opportunity to farm if we were on here. No, I didn't. So there's that TP1 again. I did not get that opportunity. So what I'm waiting for is this thing to make its next move up. So we've got a little bit of sideways action here. Nice little spike. All right, so we hit TP2. That's awesome. So first thing I want to do is take my stop loss. I'm most likely going to bring it up to my entry or a little bit higher. Now, I, this one I'm going to bring up to entry, just looking at structure and supports. This is where I'm happy. I've sold 25% at TP1, 25% at TP2. I've got 25% sitting on TP3. And the last remainder of my coin is sitting on a stop loss for free because it's at my entry level. So let's see how this plays out. Perfect. So whipped up to TP3. I'm happy. So I have sold 75% of my coin for profits along the way up, TP1, TP2, TP3. I've got 25% left on my stop loss. I'm going to move this up to TP1 right here. So this way, if the market turns around, even if I get stopped out, I am still you know, almost 8% in profit on that. And I've reduced my risk to nothing. I'm making money on this trade. All of, all of my initial trade or investment value, my, my trade value, my allocation, I've made money on all of it. I've locked in my profits. I'm happy. So at this point, if I've got life to live, I can just walk away and let this turn out. If I'm at the computer, I can manage this a little bit. So let's see how this goes. So we start moving around. Now we had this big wick up. So I would have had alarms set on all these take profits. First thing I would do is take my stop loss and start moving this up. I would do TP2 minimum, most likely TP3, right? So we've got some support here. This would be, you know, if I get stopped out here, I'm pretty happy. You know, being stopped out for 30% profit is not a bad day at all. So let's see how this turns out. So now we got some crazy volatility starting to move. We got stopped out. So we're out of the market now. That's fine. You know, everything's happy. And this is where we stand now. So it would have gave us another opportunity to make another leg up if we had managed that. But to each their own. It's all about time, your time commitment and, and how to manage these trades based on your time commitment. So you've got the set and forget strategy where you can set up your take profits ahead of time as well as your stop loss and let the market do its magic. Or if you've got some extra time, you're setting alerts as this market moves up, you can adjust your strategy or adjust your stop loss based on your strategy and lock in even more profits and reduce that risk, which is number one. So DTM is all about education and profits. So that's what we wanted to bring you today is just another strategy and how this looks. Hit us up on our AUA whenever you can, every Friday. It's, it's public, it's free education and training. Plus we go through you know some of the other tools and resources that we use to consistently make these gains. Since January 1st, we're almost 200% accumulative total since January 1st. So this works, our results do not lie. And 2023, we need to be prepared. We need to be the person it takes to manage a portfolio two, three, five, 10 times the size that we currently have, because it takes a different person to manage that type of capital versus what we have now. So education is everything. Let's make 2023 rate. We'll see you same time, same place next week, and hopefully see you at our AUA this Friday. Take care, everyone.